Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rakapudash, Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakapudash, Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakahakudash. All praise to our power, our Father. Yahweh, in the name Yahweh Shai, in the name Holy Spirit, double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone. Peace and blessings to the house of David, the elect, beginning with the 140 and 4,000. We are blessed to be alive. We are blessed to be alive. It's a very immense blessing to be here. Because your heavenly father, our heavenly father, Yahweh, by way of Yahweh Shai, will, will do marvelous things for their elect here in these last days. Okay? And the thing is, if we were not here to fulfill our lots, to fulfill prophecy, we would not witness these marvelous acts. We would not be here to witness these miracles. So we have to be here. OK, the only way to be a part of that splendor and that that uh, that glory and that favor, that that grace and, uh, and mercy that Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to extend towards their elect. Only way to be a part of that is to be here on planet Earth, you know. So basically, this topic is going to how it's an immense blessing, you know, to be alive, man, you know. Alive in his ministry, you know, <laughs> alive in the work, which that's true life to be in his truth and to be active in his truth. You know, that's real living. And also the Heavenly Father is going to show favor toward us for holding fast. OK. To not giving up, you know, and I'm just going to get some scriptures. I'm going to get a couple of scriptures, make it simple. OK. Two, maybe three, if the spirit allow, maybe three. And I pray you're edified, okay? So we're going to go to 2nd Esdras in the Apocrypha, chapter 13. And this is in the GNB, which is the Gutenberg Bible, okay? 2nd Esdras, chapter 13, which is dealing with the return of Yahweh Shai, okay? <clears throat> the whole chapter is good, man. But we're going to get to the point. The reason why I'm doing this video. Okay. And I'm going to get me off the screen. We're going to show what the scripts say. All right. Second Ezra chapter 13. And we're going to begin at verse 14. Second Ezra chapter 13 verse 14 in the Gutenberg Bible. Lord, you have been showing me all these marvelous things. You have considered me worthy and have heard my prayers. The same thing stands for the rest of you elect out there. Because Ezra would have to be a part of the elect. He's a part of the elect. So this represents you as well. The other believers. Okay. The Lord has found you worthy and he's heard your prayers. This is why you're in the truth. Now, please show me the meaning of this dream also. The dream that's dealing with the man coming up out of the sea. You know, you have a shot traveling, you know, through the heavens and, and, and appearing above us in their fathership, which is compared to a mountain. All right. That just wants to know the interpretation. OK, verse 16. I have been thinking how terrible it will be for the people who will be living in those days, in the last days. Because a lot of people are not going to make it. And, they, you know, a lot of people are going to suffer in these end days. These are the worst times we're coming into, but they're also the best times we're coming into. You know, there's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of calamity, a lot of destruction, but also a lot of favor, a lot of mercy, a lot of miracles, a lot of power. Okay. So let's read this again. I have been thinking how terrible it will be for the people who will be living in those days this will be us, you know, Lord will we live through it. All right. 
but how much worse for those who do not survive, for those that don't make it, you know, for those that the Lord take out, you know, and um, a lot of people going back to the spirit world right now. So they're not going to see what's getting ready to happen. They will be in great sorrow. Verse 17. This is the point. Check this out. 17, 18. They will be in great sorrow because they will not enjoy any of the pleasures reserved for the last days. Meaning what? They're not going to be a part of the miracles, man. You know, it does different things. We're about to witness and experience, you know, being highly privileged to be a part of. OK, the, these marvelous acts are going to be written and spoken about in the kingdom of heaven. OK. You know, so you you elect you're 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 really um you're really you know um you're 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 uh, setting the stage for your legacy. You know, it's something else I had wanted to uh, to say, but basically, you know, you're 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 creating your legacy, man. All right, because you got to think about what we're going through now and what we're getting ready to go through, which is hardship. You're going through hardship now and hardship to come, but also, you know, the Lord is going to show his power. He's going to come through, you know, as he always does. But the way he's going to show up this time, we've never seen it like this, you know. So let's read 17 again. All right. For those who don't survive, they will be in great sorrow because they will not enjoy any of the pleasures reserved for the last days. Yeah. You know, and, um. You know, I'm doing this lesson also because, you know, sometime, you know, um, brothers will get a Jonah spirit on them. You know, I'm guilty of that. You know, you know, you, you don't want to be here. You know, you'll, you know, you'll be, you know, really, you know, um, caught in the moment of your uh, your plight. You know what I'm saying? But um, but also, you know, we can't be selfish. You know what I'm saying? Other members of the elect, they're going through their trials. And the bigger picture, we're supposed to be here, you know. And we should want to be here to finish the work, you know, that, that's the ultimate thing. You know, you, you'll go through particular situations, you know, and you, you'll be, you know, um, really, it's really a distraction when they get to that point. Because we, we're here to do a job, you know, but for the people that the Lord actually took out or takes out. You know, although they in the spirit world, that they're in, you know, they're in paradise. They're with the Lord, but but still, they're not going to witness what we're about to witness, man. You know, and really, you know, you be hating these brothers past, you know, if it's brothers and sisters that believe that past, you know. Especially if you had a relationship with them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we understand death, but death is still a, you know, it's a traumatic thing, man. It's a traumatic thing, a life changing thing, you know. But we're here to do the work like we're, we're here on a mission and Lord willing, we survive through all this. We're going to be a part of the pleasures reserved for the last days. Once again, the miracles, the power, that glory, man, you know. Get another scripture. Second address in the KJV chapter two. And verse 27, be not weary, which means that we shouldn't give up. We, we have to keep pushing, man. You know, this is why we're here. Okay. You'll go through a trial, but it can't wear you out to where you don't want to do the work anymore. You know? Be not weary for when the day of trouble in heaven is cometh, the great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Right. You, you, you're a part of those pleasures reserved for the last days. You know, the Lord delivering you out of these different situations by way of angels or, or maybe the Lord raising you up with spiritual power. You know, however the Lord has it set. Cause it's already written, you know, the, Hey, the Lord feeding us when the Karagma made mandatory, the, the micro C hip. Okay. We're going to have a lot of joy 
You know, we're going to have plenty of everything, man. The heathen shall envy thee, talking about the other nations, and even two-thirds of our own people. They're heathens now. They're going to be jealous because they're going to see the favor the Lord giving us, but they should be able to, not, to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. Meaning what? They can't harm us because the Lord's going to have that hedge of protection around us, which is his, his band of angels, you know? Okay? What people call them guardian angels. So that's it. You know, and that's really it on that. But I mean, the way the uh, GNB said this, Man, that was some heat. I'm going to read it one more time. In the Gutenberg Bible, 2 Ezra chapter 13 and verse 16. I have been thinking how terrible it will be for the people who will be living in those days, but how much worse for those who do not survive, for they will be in great sorrow. Yeah, you in the spirit world, you know, you with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know, the Israelites that pass, you know, you around the angels, but you're not here on the earth where the prophecy is happening, a part of these miracles, you know. Now, we believe men of the Lord and even women that pass, you know, that, that believed they're going to be raised up, but they're not going to be a part of this. Th this was written in the story, man. You know, so, yeah, you, you able to see everything from the spirit world, but you're not in the movie right now, you know. You're going to come back in the movie when the Lord say so. But for those of us that are here, you know, you know, we will enjoy. Well, let me read the scripture again. OK. I have been thinking how terrible it will be for the people who will be living in those days, but how much worse for the for those who do not survive. They will be in great sorrow because they will not enjoy any of the pleasures reserved for the last days. Right. But you hopeful elect will be, you know, you, you're going to be a part of those pleasures, a part of those miracles. That's the whole point. All right. And what we're a part of is far bigger than us. It's far bigger than us, man. Because everything is connected. You know, the Lord shows you that, too. Once again, legacy, you know, you're continuing your legacy and, and you're a part of a mission that has been, you know, going on since uh, 2000 years ago. A, t a, a 2000 year old mission beginning with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. So now we're closing it out. This is the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 65. And um, give me a second. Here we go. Verse 13. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. During the time of the Karagma, the Lord got us. Behold, my, ser my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Those that are ashamed are those in the world and those that leave the ministry. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Just catching pure hell, man, with no escape. That's going to be the story of the rest of our people. But for you elect, you, you, you're going to be praising your house by Shemia Shai, you know, you in the spirit, you know, praising the Lord, you know, singing to the Lord in Hebrew, you know. Hey, that's what we're looking forward to, you know, in the spirit during those times. OK, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh as is written in the book of Job, you know, so it's, it's a great blessing to be here, here in these last days, man, you know. Because we're going to, you know, get to see how about Shemiah was shy, really do their thing, you know, we're going to, you know, be blessed and privileged to see how about Shemiah was shy, get down here on this planet Earth, man, you know, with these prophecies. And once again, grace, that favor. But for the rest of our people, that grace is going to be cut off. You know? Oh, and the topic of the new covenant, you know, that's the hot topic in Israel right now. But as the spirit has been reiterating, we're in between covenants. You know? Hey, what Apostle Paul say, you are not under the law, but under grace. 
we keep the law to the best of our ability, but we're not fully under the old covenant. If that's the case, we, we would all be put to death. We're in between covenants. The Lord's showing us favor by giving us the Holy Spirit. When Yahweh Shah come, when he comes back, that's when we're going to be in the new covenant, you know? But until then, we're under grace, all right? And the time coming when Jacob's trouble is here, and like Apostle Tahar said, y'all about to say, you know, Apostle Paul, but as Apostle Tahar had said, you're going to know when you're in Jacob's trouble, all right? And for you elect, that, that favor will, will stay there, you know? But with that, I'm going to close it out, man. I want to give all praise to our power, our Father, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles, and all the bishops of Great Millstone, who still well. Peace and blessing to the house of David the elect. Shalom.